Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Talk about AR-15s a little bit today. Um, common malfunctions uh, that you have when you're running them is one is an unseated magazine. This is why we want you to download your uh, your magazines. Now, I know that there are magazines that are made that uh, accept uh, 30 rounds and they still have slack up here. But whatever magazine you get, make sure you can push it down low enough in the back that you can't see brass. Okay, make sure you push it down low enough in the back, that back little notch right there that you cannot see brass. I don't care how much you put in it, but make sure you can push it down that far. The reason is if it stays all the way up, if you're doing a bolt forward reload, it's, it's, it either won't go in, it's very difficult to get in. And I have guys argue with me all the time. I've never had a problem. I was in the military, blah, blah, blah. Well, you weren't in a special operations unit, so you shot your gun until it was completely empty, bolt locked back, then put another magazine in. So that is that. Is that. So uh, no, no offense to anybody that was a ground pounder, but like you didn't, you didn't shoot, you didn't do bolt forward loads, most likely. Okay, so when you insert a magazine, pinky wrapped underneath, insert it sharply, reach up, grab the charging handle, pull it, let it go. That's how we want you to load your gun. That'll that'll eliminate a lot of problems. Oh, uh, one <laughs> I I glossed over a point. Insert the magazine sharply, and when I take my hand off, I'm pulling it as I come off. I'm not just letting. I'm not just opening my hand. I, I put it in and pull as I come off of it. That ins that ensures the magazine is fully seated. That pull is life assurance. Okay, it's the biggest thing about AR-15 is getting that mag seated. That pull cannot be glossed over. Cannot be glossed over. So, insert, pull, run the charging handle. That, that's, that's how we want you to load it. Now, bang, 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 bang. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do a reload. Bang. Bang, click. Didn't seat the magazine. Tap. Back in the fight. Okay, so that's a that's a type one malfunction that that you caused. A type two malfunction is a failure to eject. Some some things going on here. Okay, so again, like with, <laughs> I know that there are plenty of guys that turn and look at the gun. That looking at it won't fix it. Looking at it won't fix it. Turn the gun out like we do. Like if you were doing a reload. You notice I have you turn it out to do a reload. Ejection ports down. Tap, rack, back in the fight. Tap, rack, back in the fight. So, type three malfunction. Let me just keep doing that. Type three malfunction. Got to kind of set this up. I'm using dummy rounds here and a dummy gun, a non firing replica. So, so you have a double feed. There's a round in the chamber and another one trying to get in there. So basically we're gonna pull the magazine out. Now a lot of times what'll happen, it's not doing it now, so I'll have to kind of demo it. Imagine those two rounds trying to just kind of sit. it's not actually doing it right now. It's hard to make it do. But imagine those two rounds are sticking there. So you, you lock the bolt back and they would still be there. They would you could just look in there and see them both of the tips trying to go in. And your fingers won't go in here. Two fingers, boom, push them. You just break them loose and they'll fall out just like they did just then. Another magazine, boom. Typical reason for a type three is your magazine is split right here and the feed lips open up. That's typically what causes a type three. Now, the type four, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, the bolt over, the, the most dubious of malfunctions. So, the most dubious of malfunctions. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Setting one up, lock the bolt back, drop a round in. And what I have set up, I'm going to show you, don't worry. What I have set up is this. Your charging handle, you know, is in your gun. There's a round on the charging handle. This is called a bolt over. And then it's like this. So it's 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 like a round laying on the charging handle. Do you know what causes that? Do you know what causes that? Turning your gun over this way and fucking with it. I don't know why people do that. Gravity is either your friend or your foe. And if it's your friend, it's only your friend if you turn the ejection port down. It's always a foe if the ejection port is up. 
I don't care what you're operating. They're, you can't beat gravity. So, how do we fix this? So, you'll you'll do, if you're trained, you'll do a tap and rack. So, you'll, you'll, you'll tap the magazine, you'll pull this thing back, and that something's something's wrong here so we actually have what we actually have to do is and your finger won't fit you got to get in here and pull the pressure sorry trying to demonstrate it out out of the gun is tough what's hard to, hard to do in the gun too so you want to reach in you fucker you want to reach in and pull back on the bolt not the handle the bolt and that round will fall out how you do that Make sure it's set up in here. So how you do that is with something. Now, this is a great way to break the tip of your knife off and go to the hospital for stitches. Uh, so <clears throat> the best tool if, is if you run a, um, a, uh, a, a Leatherman M-U-T, that's the AR-15 Leatherman tool. If you run that on your rig, it's got a little right angle hook and, and mine, I've got two of them, none of them here for demonstration, but it's got a little hook on it. That's the most valuable piece of the gun, the whole kit, the whole tool, is that little hook that sticks out on it. And that that thing is meant to stick out and grab this and pull it back. For the demonstration, I'm gonna use the screwdriver. So again, it's it's in there. It's under it's under pressure, so it, so that that won't work. So I reach in and pull back on the bolt and take the pressure off of it and it goes forward. Uh, the most common reason for that malfunction is ejection port, port up instead of ejection port down. So that's a type one, two, three, and whatever you want to call it, a bolt over malfunction on an AR-15. Remember, when you're loading them, insert, finger on the bottom, insert sharply, tug, run the bolt, get in there. Reload, <laughs> grab your fresh mag first, Insert, tug, run the bolt, get back in there. But the ejection port always down when you're manipulating the gun. This is James Jagger for Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.